Langenthal, Herzogenbuchsee, There's something about traveling on the train. It's uh, it's a slower pace. You have the time to look around and and just kind of see the mountains and the countryside. And in a country like Switzerland, it's it's as beautiful as it gets. Everywhere you look is an old castle or some crazy mountain peaks or just a beautiful little village. And that that really makes a ski trip by train something unique and really cool. They had good snowfall and good base in Engelberg. So we took the train there. Arrived in the middle of the village. Just walked over to the hotel, had a good sleep. Woke up the next morning and we skied powder. And it was awesome. When you consider that the Swiss Alps were starved for powder for most of the season, we really couldn't have been any happier with the conditions we found in Engelberg. But after a few good days there, the weather came back in, so Kai and I decided to jump back on the train, and this time we headed for Andermatt. Yeah, there's a lot of couloirs like everywhere. And they're not that steep, it's just... They just look right. Yeah. After a good session in Andermatt, Kai and I decided to grab ourselves a couple of first-class tickets aboard the Glacier Express and head east towards the resort of Davos.
there's such a rich history here in Europe with the train. I mean, trains have been moving skiers up and across the Alps for hundreds of years now, and that's far longer than any chairlift. For me, mix and traveling and skiing, it's the perfect way of living. It's life. Next time on Solomon Free Ski TV, Chris Rubens, Elise Sogstad, and Kim Havel go on a two-week human-powered R&D trip in BC Selkirk Mountain.